that's the number one if you have good marketing you will sell anything on the price that you would like to sell and number four <laughs> What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today, I'm going to talk about or give you five tips and advice personally how to sell your property quick on a top dollar or an above market value. If you are planning to sell your property anytime soon, please watch this video from this start until the end because this topic or this five tips I'm going to give you is very important so you can sell your property quick. But before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Also, the most important thing, smash that like button for me if you haven't done so and also share this video for those people who would like to sell their property anytime soon especially for those people who would like to sell by their own or for sale by owner so without further ado let's jump into it tip number one what i'm gonna tell is like when you're selling your property make sure you know the cma or the market value if you don't know what the cma means the cma is the comparative market analysis i know you won't have any access to if you are not licensed or you're not a realtor what you can do is you can just compare your market or your sorry you can compare your property on your neighborhood within three miles radius or two miles radius has been sold in your area or in your market right for example obviously if you're not a realtor if you're for sale by owner you need to go to zillow.com you just need to get what property has been sold near in your area for example has to be the same square foot if you can't find any square foot what you need to do is get the same bedroom let's say if you have like a three bedroom get a three bedroom if you have like a two bathroom get a two bathroom so three bedroom two bath so compare that one for example you found a property a has been sold within two miles three miles radius max for 200,000 that's a property A and then get another property for property B let's say get another same property if you have like like for example a three bedroom only one bathroom get that one as well so you know how much property that you can compare with the closest property that you can get is the property A for example you have like a three bedroom and one bathroom but you have three bedroom and two bedroom three bedroom and two bathroom all right i'm trying to talk fast so i can finish this video quick for you three bedroom and two bathroom if you compare that to three bedroom to one bathroom for example your property that you're comparing with is less than two bathroom so you have more than one bathroom so you additional one bathroom so it means like if this option a has been sold for two hundred thousand, that's only for example and then your property you want to sell is obviously more than two hundred thousand. it's just because like you have additional bathroom does make sense so you will add let's say I will add like five thousand or five grand on your property. It's just because like this been sold this two hundred thousand, so near two hundred five thousand or two hundred ten thousand. You know, additional for that because you have additional bathroom, additional amenities or additional luxury feeling. Or I don't know what you say, but additional something, right? Because you you are selling more. Does that make sense? So that's how you compare property. I just want to tell you that I am not an appraiser. I am a realtor. I cannot appraise a property, but I can do a CMA for you, and I do that for free. If you want to do a CMA for your area let me know i will do that for you for free and also you know once you found your market value what you need to do next is on tip number two right this tip number two i'm gonna give you or i'm gonna tell you is you need to have a timeline for example you found your market value of your house and you decided like you're gonna sell it for two hundred and ten thousand dollars, for example only so what you need to do next is you need to have a timeline how long you're gonna put your property in the market for example i would like to put this property for a week starting from monday Monday until Sunday on that week and then after Sunday I will decide or I will accept offer for example somebody give you like maybe two hundred and eight thousand dollars or maybe someone give you like two hundred and nine thousand dollars you have to decide so you can sell it quick does it make sense so you have a timeline because if you don't have a timeline let's say I was gonna put this from Monday until Sunday and then no one's trying to buy your property and then what you're gonna do is it you're gonna add another one week again and what would you do you're gonna add and add and add so it means like there's something wrong in your market market value that you try to sell there's something wrong on your price that's the tip number two let's go to tip number three so tip number three once you find your price of the property also once you found your timeline this is most important so you can sell on the top dollar or an above market value you need to have a great information you need to have a great photos you need to have at least a video of your house right i will give you example why you need to have all this this is very very important you know because 
because if you cannot sell or if you don't have a good picture if you don't have a good video or if you don't have a good description on your property that you're trying to sell you know how can you market it for example if you are buying some clothes online obviously if you are online if you go to zillow.com not zillow.com for example nike if you want to buy a shoes they are selling top dollar for the shoes they selling sometimes two hundred dollars or sometimes three hundred dollars for a shoes so how can they sold some of that shoes it's because their marketing is good how can you do that so what you need to do is like take a good picture of that shoes or of your property in a good light write this down please so you know you can understand what i'm trying to do so take a picture of your property with a good light don't take a picture at the night time don't picture when it's dark because people won't see the good property you won't see the clear picture of your house right that's the number one tip once you took a picture of your property make sure don't just take one two three make sure you take as much as possible try to give more detail as much as possible for example this shoe is selling for three hundred dollars why are you selling for so expensive because they take picture sometimes they have like this virtual thing on the shoes right they going in and out showing what kind you can get in the shoes what can you get in the shoes maybe you can jump high maybe this shoes is like very comfortable you can wear it like for at least two days and then you won't get any feeling on your foot or whatever you will feel great that is marketing so when you try to market your property what you need to do is you know take a good picture in the front at the back at the side inside bedroom bathroom living room kitchen dog house you know everything try to take a picture everything dog house <laughs> <laughs> try to take a photo or picture as much as possible because that is important if you don't have a good marketing you know a lot of buyer will say uh, this property price that you put is it doesn't show on the price that you are telling them if you can hire a photographer do it if you can hire or if you can afford a videographer do it if you can hire a marketing people to market your house do it if you want to sell you know on the top dollar because they know what they're doing like I do like if you watch my video on, on the past I was selling like furniture and I sold this furniture free for $250 so my profit was $250 250% of that furniture that I just sold in the past that's why I get into real estate because marketing is the most important thing when you're selling please remember that and try as much as clear as possible when you are trying to sell your property don't just put like three bedroom two bath and this is the picture and for $250,000 that's it and you're done no do you think like people will look at that one you need to have like three bedroom with two bathroom inside the bathroom Room. we have like this countertop and also we have like this extra shower room in our bedroom we have like a walking cabinet and we have like a good carpet you know inside the house you can see like the very nice tiles and very luxurious feeling inside of our house that's why we are selling at this very top dollar amount does it make sense so i hope it does if you have question comment down below i will answer your question as fast as i can so that's tip number three let's move on tip number four you have like your property amount or property value second is your timeline third is your picture you know to market your property number four and this is very important you need to know or you need to qualify your buyer for example a buyer wants to see your house right you, you tour them in your property you say this is the house this is the three bedroom house this is the luxury feeling house this is why i was selling at this house you know just give them some specification of your house why you are selling on this value let's say for 250,000 230,000 it's just because like the other house has been sold right next to neighbor has been sold for 210,000 but I'm selling for an extra amount because I have extra bathroom or extra bedroom or you know I have a swimming pool or something like that extra something that the buyer will get like oh 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 right so you are trying to sell your property with a good information so what do you mean by qualified buyers for example if you are not realtor or maybe if you are not a license you don't know how to qualify a buyer because some buyer will just go in i like to buy your house but how would you know they have a good credit score how would you know that they have like a down payment unless you're gonna search this person or you're gonna ask them hey buyer what is your credit score hey buyer do you have a down payment for my house you know 
you know you can't ask that can't you if you can if you would you know <laughs> you can ask that one but that's what i'm trying to say if you're gonna hire a realtor which is gonna be my tip number five this is my last tip because i don't like too long video and i don't like talking too much but i'm just trying to give you as much information as i can and i'm not selling myself as well you don't need to hire a realtor if you want to sell by your own but this is my tip number five i was gonna say like if you're gonna hire a realtor i will do all the stuff that i just told you number one the cma number two schedule or the timeline i will do that especially the marketing make sure if you're gonna hire a realtor a good realtor who will represent you to sell your property make sure he has good marketing strategy or a good marketing background to sell your house because otherwise that realtor will struggle to sell your house i promise i'm just being honest it's just because like whatever you do whatever you look in any kind of business if you have good marketing you will sell anything on the price that you would like to sell and number four the realtor would know how to qualify a buyer or a qualified buyer for your property because they can qualify them by other realtor who's representing for the buyer so they already qualify them so that's a good thing if you're gonna hire a realtor but you don't really need to hire a realtor if you want to sell your house if you want to save some money for commission but would you rather save money for commission to get all this work done by yourself do you have time number one number two do you have a lot of patience to sell your house and lastly but not the least do you have some time to talk to every buyer to qualify them that if they can afford your property ask yourself right as i said i'm not selling myself but i'm just telling you the consequence if you're gonna sell your property by your own here's the bonus tip i'm gonna say sometimes when you're not hiring a realtor you need to prepare your paperwork which is a lot of things to do right the paperwork the contracts make sure that you do that in writing and correct so that's the video for today i hope i covered everything here if you have some question or if i miss something here comment down below i will answer your question as soon as possible or if you want you can email me my email address it will be down here and also you can text me if you don't like emailing i like texting so you can text me my number here i will reply your text as soon as possible in fact my phone is here you know i write all down what i'm gonna talk about here so i know what i'm going to say that's it for me today i am really sorry if this video took so long I hate long video because when I'm watching video, I just like at least 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes max. That's my goal for the video I'm making here in YouTube channel. But I hope you found value in this video that I show you. And if you watch this video until this end, comment down below, sold. So I know how many people who's been watching this video until this end and I really appreciate that one. In fact, if you type sold and if you contact me, I will give you a free CMA, which is I said earlier. I do a free CMA for you so that you can start going to sell your property quick on a top high dollar this makes sense or on the about market value that's it so until next time thank you for watching again i'll see you on the other side Peace. what is going on guys this is arger bautista <laughs> ah, one more